not my company, was like, oh, your excuse. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Okay. I guess I'm not the only one that parks over here where C and D is and walk over to A. It's always parking over here, so then when I get off, I'm the first one off. Uh, oh, not my name tag stuck. There we go. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Yes. Happy Tuesday. What is today's date? August 22nd, you guys. Um, today we start a three-day trip. I did have days off until Friday, but I decided to pick up. I'm like, I honestly don't really need that many days off. You know, I need money. We like money over here. Um, but anyways, three day trip today. Um, today is Charleston. Tomorrow is Philly. They're both short layovers. This really isn't the ideal trip. I posted somewhere over here. Um, yeah. It's like a two leg deadhead, four legs day two, and three legs day three. Um, I am like the junior senior mama in the back. I'm not flying lead on this trip. I'm in the back. So, yeah. Um, yeah, report time 6.05. So, yeah, three day trip. Um, we go to Charleston tonight. We deadhead there. So, technically, two legs today, four legs tomorrow. But the four legs tomorrow are all like express. So, in a sense, it's like it sucks that it's four legs, but it's all express. It's not a full service except for that last leg where we go from Atlanta to Philly. So, three express, one full service. Not too bad. Um, other than that, yeah, let's get it. Uh, I need to get my stuff together schedules came out um i did not film a reaction like i wanted to um i was kind of i was shocked very shocked it seemed like everybody got what they wanted so that's an indication that summer flying has officially like slowed down so yeah i love that for everyone um just as much as i was surprised as much as i i didn't mess it up but yeah anyways <laughs> um more on that later i don't know what i'm gonna do when i get to charleston we get there pretty late I don't know what I, you know, if I have any plans or anything. I do need to finish up my CBTs. That's quarterly stuff that we have to do with my company. Um, I do need to finish those. They're due on the 7th, and I think I'm like halfway through. So I need to go ahead and just knock those out. But um, yeah, 422. Let me go ahead and get my stuff and get everything together. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Don't know when that's going to be. Could be on a plane. Who knows? But uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Okay. Um, <laughs> this plane is so empty, guys. Such an empty flight. Love it. Um, I flew with the lead before. So, and the other two people I have not. So, yeah. Don't touch it. I'll come back to you guys later. <laughs> Flight attendant? I mean, uh, a vlogger? I should. Hi, guys. This is uh, Taylor. I was about to say Tyler. I had to look. No, Taylor. It's happened before. It has? I oh, get God. that a lot. He has ha have me come up with some great ideas. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Where do we go? We're going back to Atlanta and we dead head to Charleston. And that's another thing that I do when I vlog. I actually like explain what the deadhead is. Um, when I show the schedule, of course, the same way like when we post in our groups, I Before mute I out. Before I started working, I didn't know what a deadhead meant. Yeah, so a lot of people don't. And yeah. then I notice a lot of people too watch my vlogs to get information along with other YouTubers out there that are flight attendants and stuff. So yeah, yeah that um, let them know what the flight lead is because the last two trips, I decided to escalate myself to lead. I know. And then when I called crew scheduling, I know one of the guys was like, he was like, well, that's an unusual request. I said, I know, I know you don't get that a lot, but yeah, he bust out laughing. He was like, well, let me go ahead and do this now before you change your mind. <laughs> so, Rookie mistake. Right. But I missed the one, two, threes or the two, one, twos or 
two one one days instead of what's this? This is a two four three. Something like that. Trip, yeah. Yeah, because I don't count the day that I did that. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Well, we get back early. Yeah. We got three minutes to boarding. We're getting down. Countdown. Oh yeah, he was Minneapolis based guys. I was. I so was. yeah, so we have that in common, so we're talking about that now. So yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. You'll be seeing more of We him. can do pros and cons of junior bases. <laughs> look, we, we, bases. We, look, we might need to do... Look, yeah. Man, you're the person I need to do that with. Because yeah. you, you, you gave me the idea it will only be right. And I think, that, yes, we'll talk more about that. Now I, you got to tell them what a junior base versus senior base is. That is true. Can't assume they know what that means. That's true. This is true. Um, we got okay. you. We got yeah. you. Yeah. Of course, you guys know I talk about Atlanta being super senior. But... If y'all see his schedule, the way he showed me, how many months are you in? Uh, three months, two and a half, three months in. Two and a half, three months. And the way he cleared his schedule out, Atlanta could be your best friend if you wanted to be. Yeah. But he, <laughs> the Don't way hate he the cleared play or hate the game. That's all I'm <laughs> listen, saying. Listen, the way he cleared his schedule out, I was like, I wasn't even doing that at three months. So, yeah. listen, he got all the gems. So, I'm going to let him talk to you guys for a little bit about that. For the juniors, for the new hires, y'all keep hitting me up. Y'all need to hit him. <laughs> too kind. I, too kind. Listen, no, but that's the truth because even at three, two and a half, three months. Time, guys. Okay. I wasn't even clearing out my schedule like that. And one minute, I'll talk to you guys later. We're about to board. Bye. Drop me we are in Charleston. I am tired. Let me tell you the way I fell asleep before we even took off. I don't even think I remember seeing them doing the safety, the manual safety demonstration. I was that tired. No, I didn't remember. I saw them and then as soon as they sat down, I dozed off. I dozed off. I'm tired. But um, we're in Charleston. We are here for like 13, 14 hours. Um, <laughs> but our pickup time is at 4.10 a.m. 4.10 let me go ahead and set my alarm now because so I don't miss that. I do plan on going downstairs to get something to eat when they open back up at five. Yeah. At five and yeah, so I'm about to take a shower, unwind. Get myself together. I could be doing my CBTs. I could be doing those. So I will be doing. I will be doing those. And go ahead and finish those out and knock those out away. So let me get started on those. Um. Oh no. But yeah, day one of <laughs> three. back in with you guys later so I had someone hit me up they were curious to know like what all do I pack um in my flight attendant like my rollerboard I thought about doing a more in-depth detail video but I can show you now um yeah so I use packing cubes and everything um to bring some type of organization to it. So let me show you what I got. So this is my rollerboard, everything, my bonnets, head scarves, socks, extra pair of stockings, underwear, everything is in here. Uh, as far as that stuff goes, this is like a thin uh, robe, I'm gonna put that there. Um, this here is all of my clothes for my two to three day trips. Um, I have learned very quickly to become a minimalist. There's no need to pack everything and have, you know, like these two pairs of bottoms and multiple tops of how you can style those items. 
This here is my shoe bag. Uh, my house shoes are on top, which I have on now. And then on the other side, when you flip it, I have flip flops and sneakers. I also have another pair of flip flops here, like some dressier type ones. Those here are like for pool or if I'm at the beach or anything, just kind of like a quick if I need to run out the room, go get ice and come back. Instead of wearing my slippers, I have a pullover and I have my makeup bag and this is my toiletry bag. Everything is like travel size. So that's what I have there. Um, and then come to my regular uh, like tote bag um, in here, external. Um, my external charger and I love this thing I actually got this recommendation from a passenger um, that's what it looks like it has all ports you can also plug them up best thing ever and it lasts a lot longer too uh, a fan if you know you know I'm sure everyone has this all of these are Amazon I'll link everything down below um, just more cords and everything in this part here, I do have my iPad. So my iPad, I keep a notebook with me. Um, in here, oh, I have an Apple. <laughs> um, I have my blue light glasses, my sunglasses. I do have like another little travel bag here. I'll go in more depth into detail about that. This here's my Lululemon Carry all bag so this has like my wallet and like chapsticks and stuff like that and another small <laughs> notebook um one thing about me i love to write stuff down uh either write stuff down or take pictures of it then write it down this here is my little work pouch that i got my sky pro in for my company um i now keep my passport in there um my card reader when we do service and people want to purchase stuff and extra work lanyards just in case one breaks I have a backup because that has happened it's unlocked a new fear for me I remember I was working with a crew member hers got caught when she used the restroom and it flushed down the toilet so that is a real thing and um I have a mask that oh I do plan on doing loops I got this from Target I'll link that too um yeah just some napkins hand lotion because your hands do dry out what's in this part here oh room spray i also do spray the lavatories with this because good lord um <laughs> uh hand warmers yes because i am anemic and i say cold i have hand warmers i have body warmers this is just um throat lozenges and other little random i have another spray and in the back I have like uh, reusable bags and paper bags and stuff um, if I forget to get one or people just don't want to give me one for whatever reason now in here this is where I keep like my little travel toiletry bag like something easy accessible so I have Flonase because my allergies are on fire um, I keep this Avion uh, facial spray because again uh, flying you do tend to dry out to rehydrate the face along with, of course, if you're drinking your water. But you you, you just get very dry up there regardless. So um, I have an extra little hair tie. I have hand sanitizer, touch line if you know, you know. I do have this uh, Better Blister uh, bandages. Um, I am currently breaking in my new shoes, a new pair of the same shoes I've been, I've been having. But of course... When I broke in my very first pair is the heel parts. I do have these on to help with the blistering. Um, panty liners, wipes. I do have um, these uh, Colgate wisps. So while you're eating something or because my toothbrush is in my toiletry bag, I still can refresh the mouth. And let's see. I have floss. Let's see. Uh, poopery because we're grown here and if we're going to do it you know at least be considerate that's all I have to say about that and my little med travel medicine kit so no 
I'll be right back. Okay, I thought we lost it, but anyways, <laughs> I have uh, allergy pills here, Claritin and Flonase, uh, the pill version, to give out to those that may be suffering from allergies. I do have a Advil, a Gas-X, the Dramamine, uh, Pepto, and this here is Excedrin. I forgot. I don't. I think I ran out of labels. I have to order some more. But yeah, that's for travel. And then I do have a. Um, a travel size Lysol. Does it focus? Focus, focus, focus. There you go. Travel size Lysol spray. I also carry this Clorox uh, fabric sanitizer uh, because I do spray my uniforms with this. I've got into the habit of not. Um, last time I tried to wash my uniforms on a layover, it was a hot mess. And yeah. So, in order to keep them fresh and spray the bacteria off, this is a fabric sanitizer I do keep in my bag. Now, let's get into this. This fabric sanitizer spray, because I am in uniform, I can have this in my bag. If I was traveling for leisure or if I was based at another base and not traveling in uniform, I have to comply as a regular passenger, meaning I cannot have this in my bag. God forbid if they give me random, they will take this out. So I'm always in uniform when I have this, when I travel for leisure, I take it out. That's the only reason why I have this in my bag because it's only for work purposes only when I'm at work. And as you can see, I'm in uniform. Other than that, do not travel with this for leisure and then be like, I took, no, I didn't tell you that. But that's been my best friend. Anyways. That's what's in my bag. Yeah, I'm about to go take a shower. Bye.
hump day. It's Wednesday. Uh, day two of three. We have four legs today. Charleston back to Atlanta. Atlanta to Richmond. Richmond back to Atlanta. And then Atlanta to Pittsburgh. Yeah. It's 3.32. We have a van pickup time of 4.10. I'm pretty much already dressed and all my stuff is pretty much already packed. So I'm going to finish that up. I thought I was going to put on makeup this morning, but I'm not feeling, I don't even feel like doing my brows. Yeah, I don't even feel like doing that. So, yeah, I'm going to finish getting ready and I'll see you guys on the plane. I'm, I need coffee or tea, something. I mean, I'm cold. Yeah, and it's like 78 degrees here. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the plane. Uh, what was that rap flyer with the rock hand in that song? It's about drive, it's about power, we work hard. What song is this? You ever heard the rocks rap? Ah, uh, you had like this, it kind of went viral because it was like a little forest trip. It's about drive, it's about power, we work hard. Mm -mm. Good morning. Good morning. Let's get some sleep. Yes, actually, for for once. For once. Yep. How about you guys? Yeah, I actually slept pretty good. Good, good. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, we came in here yesterday. You mean like where are we going next, or where are we? Going? Where we came in from yesterday. Yeah, you guys. I think Dad had it on our yeah. flight here. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. That's right. We yeah, did we say got that. It at yeah. The same time. So where are you guys going next? That's what I meant. You're St. right. St. Louis turn when we get to Atlanta. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. We're on the flight. I just had Burger King and drinking orange juice. And Let's get it. Y'all, it has been a long ass day. I do not like that. It has been a long ass day. Very long, very long, very long. Oh, I hate when it's right there. And then trying not to get annoyed. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, it's been a long ass day. I wish they would just have just the luggage racks you can take out instead of having one stationary in that area because I don't want my stuff there. I really don't want to put it on this bed because nine times in 10, I'm not sleeping in this bed. And who's to say they'll change it? So I'm gonna have to mess it up intentionally for them to change it because I'm paranoid about stuff like that. Anyways, we have four legs today. Um, Charleston to Atlanta, Atlanta to Richmond, Richmond back, and then Atlanta to Pittsburgh, which we are laying over now. Um, the one time that I wish we had a sit so we can get something to eat, we did not. So I'm getting hangry and I'm getting a headache. So I'm about to take a shower, change. By the time I do all of that, five o'clock will approach and the little eatery place downstairs will be open and I'll just get food down there and get a little discount or whatever and then i'm coming back up and i'm going to sleep because we have a 4 45 pickup time so what is that an extra 30 25 30 minutes don't let me lie to you but you know from today's pickup time of 4 10 
So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get settled, take a shower, wash this plane off of me, and yeah. I'll probably check in back with you guys. Maybe not, I don't know. You know what, actually I will. I have a little story time, but I need to decompress first because that kind of has me like, really dude? But yeah, I'll come back to you guys after I take care of me. And I'm going to do my mask tonight. I'm going to do my mask. I'm doing this tonight. Come back to you guys later. She's hydrating. Um, this is the Loops mask, the Clean Slate. I feel like my skin has been going through a lot lately. So yeah. But yeah, story time. Oh, this is hanging out. E. I don't know, hopefully this help, this helps. But anyways, so story time. So, it was another crew there, not with my company, with another airline, and it was us. So, they were waiting, you know, we finally came, they were waiting on us, cool, because the van guy knew how many he needed to pick up. So, you know, we all started to leave our bags in the back. So, I did say excuse me, did not say it loud enough, I presume, but you know, I went up, and so I could open up the door van. And this pilot from another company, not my company, was like, oh, your excuse. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me? He said, your excuse, I figured I was in your way. And because I walked in front of him, but when I did that, I said, I'm sorry, excuse me. And I was like, I'm not following. He was like, oh, I just figured I was in your way. I said, no, you're not. But I did say, excuse me. I apologize if I didn't say it loud enough for you. So I opened up the van. I said, after you. And he looked at me crazy like, wow. I'm like, yeah. One thing you're not finna do, or or at least what you think you're about to do, if you think you're about to be petty, I'm, I'm going to meet you there and be five times more petty. Or what's the saying? When they go low, you go high? No. Some people say, hey, no, they go lower, they go submarine. Look, I don't play that because that was unnecessary. I know I said, excuse me. Now, if I said it, if I didn't say it loud enough, that's on me. But I know I, I said that. I'm not going to just walk in front of somebody and not say nothing. But as well, too, y'all are standing outside of the crew van, not didn't open it, you know. And it's like, what are we standing outside for? It's raining. Let's get in the van. So that's why I said, excuse me. Went to open the van. I didn't. But anyways. That's either here or there. And then when I went downstairs to get my food, he just happened to be down there. We kind of locked eyes. So it was like he locked eyes and rolled his eyes and turned the other way. <laughs> I don't care. I do not care because I know I wasn't rude to you at all. Yet alone cut you intentionally or walked in front of you intentionally. No, you're not in my way. I'm just trying to figure out why y'all standing outside. No one opened up the van door to go sit in the van. What are y'all waiting for? This man to do it? We're very much capable of doing it. Just open up the damn door so we can go sit down so we can get to our layover. We all got minimum rest. But anyways, it is 7.28. I'm about to, this mask been on about 10 minutes now. So I'm about to take this off and prepare myself for bed. Tomorrow is go home day. We do have three legs tomorrow. So tomorrow we do Pittsburgh, back to Atlanta. And then we do a Midway Chicago penalty lap and we are done. I love that for us. Ooh. Hmm. But yeah, I love that for us. So yeah, I should be home a little around three. It's Thursday. Traffic, ugh. But yeah, so that's what tomorrow's looking like. I am the galley person tomorrow, so um, I'll be doing that. And all three of my legs actually all have full service. The first two days, it was mostly, if not, it was all express, except for this recent leg from Atlanta to Pittsburgh we're at now. That was a full service. Tomorrow, I have all full service <laughs> legs while I'm in galley. I didn't really look at that too well because I would have chose something else, but it's fine. It's cool. But yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and 
get ready for bed and I will see you guys in the morning. So, and I did also need to complete my, finish up my CBT that I have like two left. So yeah, I'm gonna do that as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning and uh, let's go home. I'm tired. I don't know why this trip had felt like it drained me so much. But anyways, I'll see y'all in the morning. Bye. <laughs> Listen, it's two. It's so this is Winnie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> It's go home day, so yeah. Um, so the plane isn't on, so we don't have no water. We can't make announcements. Uh, they can't if they try to get on and try to use the restroom, can't flush. So, and the gate so he said, "No, it's fine. We'll just wait." I said, "Okay, fine with me." So I should be able to knock my snacks out. Okay, they already used the little bags. That's chips, and yeah. Take it away. Well, hello. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> yeah. I've been walking this whole three days. You have? Yeah. That is awesome. Uh, I like that for you. I just want to follow you and see see what to do. Okay. Yeah, you surely can. This is mostly this. I'm trying to get back into mm -hmm. the lifestyle part of it. What I was doing before. Um, before any of this that's so. so amazing that's fine because I'm going to edit <laughs> <laughs> alright lovely if you need any help okay let me know I got you thank, thank you, you. Mm -hmm. she look like 90s R&B her friends like SWV took the weave out and left it short it's still a color good to me secret biggest fan is still your friend We can chill with everyone I need some more intimate You got all the days for thug It's times you get so fit Well, I'm thug and tell the beach Baby, join me if you can All you did is never said a thing Knowing me is probably not hard to tell I can lose seeing you casually But she making up she on the stage with everyone. Yeah, yeah, but she tough. Whoa. Just cop the merch to show support. I hope she's kicking it up. So, pilots are here. So, the plane is now on, and we can go ahead and take off. Probably could have got something to eat, but it's fine, I guess. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next clip or probably just after we're done with this whole trip. More than likely that, so. Bye! We're home. I'm about to get something to eat. Day three is finished. Um, it wasn't a bad trip. It really wasn't. We had a great crew. Um, yeah, so I'm about to get something to eat. And then I need to take my car. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take it to get service because if I go home, I'm not coming out and I'm not coming out tomorrow to do anything. I'm going to sleep or I need to edit this vlog. But yeah, I'm not doing anything. So, but great crew. Um, it wasn't a it wasn't a bad trip, but it wasn't like the best trip. But usually when you have a great crew, no write ups, no nothing, everybody was in sync, communication was good. It makes you know, it makes the trip overall good. So I'm grateful for that. No matter every trip I always pray for two things, a good crew and a safe, uneventful trip. I don't want no problems, none of that. 
But other than that, um, thank you guys for coming to my channel. If you are new, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend. If you are returning, once again, thank you so much. Uh, share my channel. Follow me on social media, more so Instagram. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys in the next vlog. Um, I don't know. If, I really can't remember off the top of my head if I have anything going on. And honestly, I thought today, I keep thinking like, I thought yesterday was thursday today is actually thursday yesterday was wednesday and i kept telling people today yesterday that it was thursday so i guess life of you know yeah life of a flight attendant like we just know when we come to work and when we have days off the like our schedules are really unconventional it's really not your typical if anything is not a nine to five at all but yeah i will catch you guys in the next vlog bye